American men are often arrogant about the Lord's house. They have rarely been gifted any opportunities of being an oracle of old. An oracle of old was often miscounted and mistreated in the current version and standards of the Bible. They are actually prophets, much like Jesus, but they don't have the same power of magic as him, and openly there have been many, many people coming through the ages and stages of the world, like our famous psychics and mediums on television, who have gifts. The reason that some people have greater gifts, like perhaps a John Edwards or a Teresa Caputo, than others who are younger and less well off, is simply because they don't submit enough to the love of the Lord. Someone who is arrogant and wants to be in control of what they say and wants to do well in every way and wants to not hurt people's feelings and wants to get, that is not of God's house. The Lord's house has many rooms, is true. But the Lord's house also tells you the truth. And I promise that you do want that. You see, when I'm reading for a child of 15, I'm always remarking on the fact that I have no idea what's going to come out because I'm validating them that the proof of God knows them. It's up to them, however, to move themselves forward from the information they gain, to be a better person, to keep on the path the Lord has in them, and for them to go on in life. When you give a little girl hope, she is hopeful. When you take away hope from someone, they are not less hopeful. They just say, tough, titty, I'm doing my own thing, whether or not you think it's shitty. And I can make these little immoral quips to make you laugh, or I can make these immoral quips to make you sigh, or I can make you immoral quips to make you say, oh my God. But the reality is you want to be thinking about God today. God is in COVID in every way. God did release COVID because of the immoralness of men today. The arrogance of men is talked about in only a handful, handful of film today. Narnia is one of them, Harry Potter is another, Lord of the Rings is exceptional in doing this, and the old, very dark, complected film Highlander, which actually launched into several versions of seasons on television, is one of them. Even Buffy the Vampire Slayer, an angel, was sort of a walk through the moralities of the monsters of the world today, taking concepts and transforming them into being good versus evil, light versus dark, angels versus demons, and even Charmed does that today. People have forgotten about the magic of the Lord today. They are so arrogant of what they think the Lord makes in every way that they have put themselves in a state of being God today. When you think you're God over someone's life, you will learn very quickly through the struggle, the strife, the immoralness, the impromptness, or the loss of life, the loss of partner, or the loss of physicality that you're not. In America, we have rights, and those rights belong to our Constitution that allows us as U.S. citizens naturally born here to have them. In truth, we have plenty of American citizens that need better work, better pay, better things. It's not just teachers, it's not just retail people, it's not just people at the lowest of poverty levels, but the truth is we're not educating our children to move beyond those spaces into higher education places, and what we're doing is importing the bastards of Satan. I have become a large proponent of being very careful about the country's people and the nationalities that we allow here. And Mama Harris has been very clear about what is and isn't allowed here, that we must follow the laws of America until they are legally and lawfully changed by Congress in the appropriate passage of change that is legal for American citizens to follow. And as an American citizen, you have the right to your opinion, but you don't have the right to have your opinion be over the law of what is and isn't appropriate under the law. At no time do you have the right to commandeer a body. At no time do you have the right to commandeer someone's records. At no time do you have the right to do anything at all that you would not want done to you. And openly, you can lie to yourself all the way through your life about how marvelous you are what you do in your life. But the truth is, God may have a different opinion. He may say, Honey, you didn't represent me one second in that courtroom. Sir, you didn't do one thing of God in your helping of that man. And openly, God has the right to school you. He has the right to educate you. He has the right to make you drool in the end of your life with an illness that you can't get out of. And openly, my father was an abuser, and he ended his life in diapers. 
and basically losing all his ADLs. I personally thought it was an improper end to him, as sad as it was to watch him. And openly, I sort of had a foreshadowing of that might happen. At the same time, I know that a liar will forget her lies. And a liar has been found in siblings and in a mother and in other people's lives. But everyone lies is not the point of this statement. The point is, what do you not disclose? There are privacy issues all across America, in companies, in people's lives, in relationships and intimacies that are none of your fucking business.